Hey, what's up, guys? Today we'll be drawing Excalibur Sonic from Sonic and the Black Knight. Now, if you just want to see the speed drawing, go ahead and click on the info card right now. It'll bring you to speed drawing only video. But in this short video tutorial, I'll be going over the step by step of how to create this Excalibur Sonic drawing from start to finish. Check out the video chapter in the description below to preview all the steps or to skip to the chapter that interests you. And if you already love, you, and if you already love what you see on this completed drawing, feel free to hit like and subscribe now. Now let's take a look at the materials we'll need for this drawing. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser, a thin black marker, and a thicker black marker, and some color pencils. So the color I have here, I have a blue for this part of the sword and this part of the sword. I have red for all the gems on him, the cape, okay? I have silver for all the silver armor parts on Excalibur Sonic. And I have a gold on all the rest of his armor. Now, the black is what I use for shadow. So I drew, I draw all the shadow, overlay the shadow color on all the rest of the colors for the shadow, okay? Now, in this video, when I draw, I'll be doing speed drawings throughout. So feel free to hit pause when you need to catch up with me, okay? And feel free to draw along. Let's start. Now before we start our drawing, let's take a look at a reference picture of Excalibur Sonic and find out what shapes and form we can use to create our drawing. Okay, so I pulled off on, like, one of the official images from the in-game uh, in screenshots. Okay, I, I really like this pose. Um, I think uh, it can really highlight one of our techniques, uh, which is uh, thickening out the profile lines, because you see the pose is really cool, but sometimes it's really hard to find out like where the arm is going, where the leg is going, what's in front of what, and so on. Okay, so by utilizing our like profile line technique, like, we can really uh, make the form read better, okay? So I actually got another picture of it, it's like a toy. Uh, so the reason why I, I printed out this because so that I can see it, and it's a very close replica, replica of what, what it looks like in the game. So I can take a look at it, okay? And then uh, kind of see more clearly what's going on in the armor. So it's like a second reference for me, okay? But before that though, let's uh, analyze the pose a little bit. So I'm gonna start uh, the head with a circle, okay? And then the cross, give us the orientation of the head. Okay, and uh, pretty small body. Okay, kind of like the sonic proportion, the, the very uh, old school sonic proportion. We got legs coming down. Okay, if you use your uh, pencil as a measuring tool, you can see the body is tiny. The body is even smaller than the head. Uh, and then the legs, uh, let me see. If that is the ankle. No, I'd say the head, the legs are about the length of the head. And then big uh, feet, like each foot is like the size of a leg almost. Okay, so we got like one foot. Tip, okay, and then uh, the feet start, fists, fists start are super uh, big as well. So, uh, locate where the fists are. So, that's the arm, okay. And then the other fist is kind of uh, blocked by this, this other leg right here, but it's actually right here. And then we have a sword coming out. Okay, now the hair is one of the major features for Sonic, so we should pay attention to that. You know, you see two of them, and a little bit of the third one from here, okay, and then. Uh, Year is also a huge feature for Sonic, okay? So, like a little cape in the back. Okay, so that's pretty much the basic shape of a Sonic. And then uh, the lighting, we can see that it's coming from the top still, okay? So coming down like that. So we got most of the highlight areas here, 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 here. Now we will be designing a lot of the, a lot of the shadow work ourselves, okay? So that that will be fun, okay? So now we have all the information we need to start our drawing. Let's start by roughing in the basic shapes and forms. Again, you'll see me referencing both images. This one for the pose and the composition, and this one if I need to double check on some of the details, okay? Okay, so this is actually very important. Um, it's like the foundation of everything that comes after. Now I'm gonna do a second pass to refine the, the uh, basic shapes and forms, just because in Sonic there's just so many things going on, so many pieces of armor. So, but this is roughly what you want to start with, you know? Uh, beginning with like where the head is located at, you know, where the body is located at, roughly where the arm, the, the fists are located at, the feet, uh, proportion-wise, very close. Proportion-wise, proportion it's, it's what we want, okay? So this is like a very, very rough basic shape and form. And I draw very lightly because I'm trying to avoid kind of leaving any lines too soon. But when I start refining the drawing, uh, like the more definitive lines, I'm going to 
draw heavier. So the rough, the, the basic shape and form is gonna fade away, and then my rough sketch will start coming out. Okay. So um, I'm gonna give you some tips in drawing circles. Uh, you're gonna notice that uh, you know mainly when I did the, my, my uh, head circle. You know what I like to do is let's say I'm drawing a circle. I like to draw the four corners first. It's kind of anchoring the location of the shape on paper. Like, this is where I want to be, okay? So uh, I'm not trying to constantly search for the right location. I kind of anchor it down for the corners first. And then the other four corners. And then I connect the lines. And now I have a pretty accurate circle and very accurate position and a lot more control of my shape. Okay? Now, if you're not happy with this, like your basic rough shape and form, keep working on it. Just adjust it here and there, move it up, move it down. You know, you're drawing very lightly. It's okay to change it. Okay? And if you're not happy, keep working on it. Okay? But if you're happy, let's do our second pass and uh, throw in more details basic, but based on the reference that we see here. Okay? Okay, so this is like uh, my second pass uh, of like redefining like the, the shapes and form, but I'm still not very happy. It's, it's, it's like the defines are not definitive yet. You can see it's still very, very rough. So what I'm gonna do now uh, is grab my eraser and just lightly erase all the lines. The, the, the whole drawing's gonna look very hazy, it's gonna look very muddy, but it's okay. The point is to lighten up the lines so I can take my pencil and go over it again and further redefine my, my line work. And this time after I redefine it, it will look like pretty much close to where I want so I can start tracing, okay? So you're gonna see me erase my line, and it's gonna look very muddy. The whole uh, paper's gonna look like it's gray, but that is fine. My my whole point is to line up my line, pencil line, so I can refine it again. Okay. So now I think I have a refined enough pencil drawing uh, for me to start tracing, okay? So I know it looks very gray, very muddy, uh, but don't worry about it. After we trace it and erase it, like, it will look super clean, okay? So now, learn to draw with short and repetitive strokes. So what I mean is, still draw very lightly, okay? And it's okay if it's very rough, but when you see, like, that line that for sure it's what you want, draw heavier on that one line. 
and this line will become definitive, okay? So this is how your real drawing will emerge, first from your basic shape and form, to the rough sketch, to the refined pencil drawing. Okay, so next step is to trace your pencil drawing with the marker and then erase the pencil drawing afterwards. Now, uh, the, uh, so the tip here is to keep rotating your paper to produce smoother lines. And remember that you don't have to finish a long line with one single stroke. You can break it up into several strokes. Okay, um, let me clean up the table a little bit. And we, have to, we just have to make sure that your line uh, looks continuous. Okay, so. Give a very quick demonstration of what I mean. Let's say I'm tracing uh, this line here for this piece of armor. It doesn't have to be one continuous line. You can always break it up, okay? So I'm going to do one line, two line, three line, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. See, it's actually nine small sessions that makes up this long line, okay? So that's what I mean. Now, we, before we begin tracing, if you enjoyed the tutorial so far, you can go ahead and hit like and subscribe. So it is the biggest appreciation I can get from you guys. And uh, now let's start tracing. Now, when you erase the pencil drawing, make sure you hold down the paper with the other hand, okay? So, when you erase, you won't risk wrinkling up or creasing up your paper everywhere, okay? Now, the next step is coloring. Now, most objects you draw will have a highlight, mid-tone, and shadows. Now, on white paper, we can overlay colors to make them darker, but we can't really overlay colors to make them lighter. So, what I do is I will mark off where the highlight areas are and color everything else with this mid-tone. And then, after all the mid-tones are colored in, I will color another layer of shadow, okay? So take a look at our reference drawing here, you know, uh, so the whole character is metallic, so you find like highlight areas uh, very easily, you know, it's pretty much like very shiny, so you have a highlight area on almost every single piece. Then you have, uh, since the light is coming in this direction, uh, most areas like underneath right here will be darker because it's in shadow, you know, like this side will be darker, okay? Um, now, when you color, try to color in the direction of the form instead of drawing random directions. It'll give your color a more consistent texture this way, okay? So, for example, if I'm coloring like the, 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 the hair, you know, I would... Uh, Coloring either in this direction or in this direction, okay, to follow the form, not just random direction crossing over all the lines. All right, so I'm going to start with either the lightest color or the smallest area first. Remember, we're only doing midtones right now, so I'm probably going to start with these reds and a little bit of blue because they're easy to take care of. Um, the silver, and I'll do the gold last. Okay, so all right, uh, let's get started. Okay, now we have all the mid-tone colors in. Let's take a look at the shadows. So, 
Now, I did design a lot of the lightings here, just keeping in mind that the lighting direction comes from the upper left down. Okay, the reason why I didn't follow the this reference picture exactly is because this is like a this is like an image from a video game, and in the video games, the, the lighting are not always accurate. It's like for aesthetic, okay? So I look at it as like a reference. It's like what I can take from it that I like from it, okay? It doesn't have to be exactly the same. Like, I see something I like about it, I'll take it, and I'll put it in my, version, in my, in my artwork, okay? Uh, so... Now that we have all the midtones in here, we can already see some definition because a lot of highlights have been left in there because, like I said, the whole armor is like metallic, okay? Now, uh, when I go over the shadow, I'm going to design a lot of shadow, but also keep in mind, it's taking a look at a reference picture, like where it should be dark, you know, like a general idea of where the shadow, where I should lay in my shadow and make it look nice, okay? So I'm gonna just grab it, the shadow's pretty easy, I'm just gonna grab the black and just go over all the shadows, okay? Now, I know this doesn't look that amazing yet, uh, but after I, I put in the shadow, it will look, it will pop out a lot better, okay? So let me show you. See how we put in the shadow and the whole drawing becomes more dimensional? That's because with your highlight, mid-tone, and shadow combined, everything will read as 3D forms instead of 2D, 2D flash shapes. Now, I, I know it looks pretty cool already, but we're going to make it look even better by making the profile lines thicker. Now, the profile lines are the outermost border lines of each major form. For example, the head, the arm, the leg, the sword, uh, the body, and so on. And when we... Uh, now, detail lines, for example, like these patterns on the armor, or little bolts and screws on the armor, those will be just detail lines and not profile lines. Only looking for profile lines to define the major shapes better. So when you think of the profile lines, your whole character, his gesture, the form will pop off the page. And you can read all the details even better. Because right now I know we got highlight, shadow, mid-tone and all that, but with the profile lines sticking, you're going to be able to see the arms more clearly. You're going to be able to see which legs in front of the other one. You're going to be able to see, oh, okay, so that is where the sword is. Okay, instead of, you see like a beautiful cluster. You know it looks cool, but it takes a minute for you to read the form. With the profile lines sticking, you won't have to do that. So let me show you how it works. And there we have it, Excalibur Sonic from Sonic and the Black Knight. I hope you guys enjoy this drawing tutorial. Let me know in the comments below what we should draw next. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Now remember, drawing is like playing the piano. You can have the best instructor and the best music sheet in front of you. You might even know the music very well, but it is only through practice that you will get better and become what you want to be. The whole point of my video is to provide you a side-by-side -side training on a daily basis. Like riding a bicycle. I might have to hold you in the beginning, I have to hold your bike, but just keep drawing and keep practicing every day. Now before you know it, you will be flying. Now I'll see you next time.